So here we're introduced to the LU factorization algorithm. So you think that while LU factorization is useful and quick, its computational efficiency depends on knowing matrix L and matrix U. So this algorithm shows us that the row reduction of matrix A to echelon form U amounts to an LU factorization because it produces matrix L without any extra work. So to get us started here, we want to suppose that matrix A can be row reduced to echelon form of U using only row replacements that add a multiple of one row to another row below it. So then there's going to exist unit lower, lower triangular matrices, i.e. our elementary matrices, E1, E2, all the way up to E sub P, such that by performing these this group of elementary matrices, or these elementary row operations on A, we can attain U. So starting with A, we apply the first elementary operation, and then the second elementary operation, and we continue in this fashion all the way to that last elementary operation, and this reduces to that upper triangular matrix U. So now, by left hand multiplying by the inverses of these elementary matrices, and then applying our associative property of matrix multiplication, we can attain the following. All right, so we are taking what we found here in step one, make this a little smaller, and we want to multiply both sides of this by the inverse of our sequence of elementary matrices. So we need to give ourselves more room here for you. So we are left hand multiplying by the inverse of this sequence of elementary row operations. So then by the properties of matrices, we can rewrite this inverse as the inverse of the first elementary matrix multiplied by the inverse of the second elementary matrix all the way up to the inverse, inverse of the pth elementary matrix. And this is all multiplied by that original expression again. And so we can see now on the left-hand side that we can start to cancel, or these elementary matrices are canceling each other out. We have the elementary matrix multiplied by its inverse going to the identity. And this is going to continue for all of these elementary matrices as we continue to reduce. So that whole left-hand side simply goes to the identity matrix. So we have the identity matrix multiplied by matrix A is equal to that sequence, or the inverse of the sequence of elementary matrices. So the identity times A just becomes matrix A, and this is equal to the sequence of our elementary matrices, the inverse of that sequence, times U, which we can now go ahead and define as the lower triangular matrix L times U. And this is where L is equal to that inverse of the sequence of our elementary matrices. So we want to make a note before proceeding here that this same row operations that reduce matrix A to matrix U also reduce matrix L to the identity matrix. So starting here with our lower triangular matrix defined by the inverse of the sequence of elementary matrices, if we left hand multiply by the original sequence of EP all the way up to E sub 1 times matrix L, on both sides. We can now simplify the right hand side by rewriting the inverse. So we have the original sequence of elementary matrices multiplied by, this is the inverse of the first elementary matrix all the way up to the inverse of the pth elementary matrix. And just as we saw 
before. We can continue to reduce each of these elementary matri matrices down until all that we're left with is the identity matrix. And so now we're finally ready to define the steps of our algorithm here. So this is our LU factorization algorithm. And so the first thing that we want to do, step one, reduce matrix A to an echelon form of U. upper triangular matrix U by a sequence of row replacement operations, which we just saw up above. And this is if possible. Once we have done that, we can now place the entries in matrix L our lower triangular matrix such that the same sequence of row operations reduces L to the identity matrix So we replace matrix A, or reduce matrix A to the echelon form of matrix U by a sequence of row replacement operations, if possible. We'll then place the entries into matrix L such that the same sequence of row operations reduces matrix L to the identity matrix.